Hey guys, what is up? Welcome or welcome back. So I'm looking a little pale right now, I know, because I completely scrubbed off my self-tanner last night. Um, I'm going to be putting a fresh coat tonight, but just want to let you guys know. I, I feel like a ghost right now, y'all. Like, I just feel like a ghost. I don't feel like myself without self-tanner. Also, I feel like I look extra white just because of, like, the ring light and everything. And, like, I just don't like it. Oh my goodness, you guys. I'm, like, I'm sweating right now, too. I don't know why. I feel like I just got, like, nervous or something. I, I feel so vulnerable without my self-tanner. I'm just kidding. But anyways, you guys, it is currently, like, raining outside right now. I kind of like it like I want to just go for a drive and like just listen to music or something go get like some fast food and just listen to music but it is 40 degrees outside y'all currently at 40 degrees outside which isn't like cold but I'm like of course like where is spring my goodness we have not had like a good spring day here in Utah like I'm still waiting for it Anyways, you guys, as you guys probably saw from the title and thumbnail of this video, today we are reviewing the Pink Lavender and Espresso Candle from Bath & Body Works, and we're also going to be talking about Lavender Marshmallow, because I'm just going to tell you guys right now, I think these are pretty much dupes for each other. Pink Lavender and Espresso. This guy has notes of rich pink lavender, caramel espresso beans, and smooth vanilla. Now, I know I am super late to reviewing this candle. I feel like this candle came out quite like a couple months ago and I, I'm finally just getting around to reviewing it. I have burned this candle quite a bit. Like it's way past like the halfway mark. This candle definitely had some medium wicks to it. It was just white wax. It's just, it's yellowed a little bit just because I wasn't the best with trimming my wicks this time around, but nothing terrible. Now, if you guys remember from my little candle haul video, at first I wasn't the biggest fan on this candle, but when I went and I burned the candle, I was like, wait, hold up. This is something that I definitely have smelled before and I like it. While it was burning, I fell in love with it and I was like, what is it? And then it hit me and I was like, that's lavender marshmallow right there. You can't tell me that that isn't lavender marshmallow. Like, y'all, like, the more I smell it, I'm like, this is just lavender marshmallow. The only difference with this candle and the lavender marshmallow is that this guy has, like, the no, what, caramel espresso beans? Like, you do get that little coffee hint in there while it's burning, but other than that, like, lavender marshmallow is in here just with some coffee beans. Now, lavender marshmallow, I have this... This is a brand new lavender marshmallow. I can't find the one that I've burned, but this guy has notes of fluffy marshmallow, touch of lavender, and fresh vanilla bean. Now, if we look at the notes, lavender, lavender, vanilla, vanilla. This guy has marshmallow, and this guy has the espresso beans. The same lavender and vanilla is in this candle, in my opinion. Like, I don't know. If you guys think otherwise, that's totally fine, but to my nose, like, I'm getting lavender marshmallow in this. Now, I haven't seen any reviews on this candle just because I didn't want to, like, be influenced with my review or anything on it, but I did pull up the Bath & Body Works website and I went over to the reviews on this candle just barely, and someone put, so, so good, smells just like the lavender marshmallow but there's a subtle coffee bean scent mixed in. So soothing and not overpowering, yet smells up my entire home. Would buy this in every possible product if they expended this to body care. See, I am not the only one. And the fact that, especially while this is burning, it smells like lavender marshmallow, it makes me want to go to the store and stock up on this because Bath & Body Works did not bring this back this year, which I'm a little upset about because I fell in love with this fragrance last year. It was amazing, it was delicious, and just everything. Oh my goodness, I I love this guy so much, you guys. I do have to say, Lavender Marshmallow definitely has a more of like a heavy lavender kick to it than the Pink Lavender and Espresso does, but overall, very, very similar. Like, these are definitely in the same family. They're not cousins. These are siblings right here. As far as the throw goes, I would definitely give this candle like a good, like, medium high type of grade on it. Like, I feel, like, I had this burning upstairs in the kitchen, and it definitely filled up the kitchen, definitely filled up the living room, and towards, like, the front door quite a bit, and it was really pleasant. Like, I loved it a lot. I feel like this is definitely, like, a good candle to burn around, like, 
Valentine's Day or even like into like, I don't know, more into like April time, not March. I don't know, like my brain's just weird with that kind of stuff. But I feel like around like April, it would be like a really pretty scent to be burning. Like I am almost done with this. Like I feel like if I was to burn this every day for like the rest of the week, I'd be done with it. Like she's like right about here, y'all. She's almost done. Oh, but overall, like, I love the fragrance. I love the packaging. I It's like a pretty pale, 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 creamy pink type of color. And also, just like this label, it's just pretty beautiful. Like, I love... I'm gonna focus it, y'all. I love how simple the packaging is. Like, it looks expensive, and it, it just sits pretty anywhere you put it. Overall, if I had to recommend this candle to you, I would say yes, definitely get it if you do like coffee scented lavender type of fragrances. If you don't like lavender, I would definitely pass on this, but I I loved it, you guys. Like I said, lavender marshmallow. All right, you guys, so that was my review on the pink lavender and espresso candle. If you guys have burned this candle, definitely let me know your thoughts on it. I wanna see what you guys are thinking about it, but to me, like I said, I feel like it's lavender marshmallow just with a coffee kick. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. I just don't want this moment to end.